So oil wealth is gone now. 98% of people would vote for me. We have a surplus of 7.46 billion. Economic forecast. Global economy is doing okay, but we are in neither a boom nor a bust cycle. And we are supposed to appoint a UN ambassador. Our ambassador to the UN retires this year and we need to name a successor. Much will be made of whether we appoint a hardliner who sticks up for the country or someone more able to compromise. Appoint Abigail Kumi. Abigail Kumi is well known as a patriot who will fight tooth and claw to get our interests represented in the UN. Seen as a popular choice amongst patriotic and more conservative citizens, she is historically against foreign aid and a supporter of import tariffs. She is not popular internationally. Or Christian Williams. Uh, we need to appease patriots. So. Uh, now our debt is going down greatly. The global economy is going down as well. Our relative GDP as well. Now, this is never going to go away. I can now see it. Malaria. Actually, is there any other... No, it's just the education. It has no effect. Oh my god, uncompetitive economy just jumped up. Technology backwater is stabilizing. Skills shortage should go away next turn. We can hope. Poor transport wings, stimulus, maybe asthma epidemic as well. We will see, but skills shortage and asthma should be gone. Patreons are increasing. The island invaded is getting going away slowly. We don't want it going away. We still have a surplus. I'm gonna keep this because we want to lower the debt as low as possible. I think that we have not much expenses with the debt, but I'd still like to. Yeah, 371 million, that's 0.6 of our budget. And I'd like to keep it that way. You know, maybe even lower. So now, what can we do for our people? The middle income people are suffering by the income tax. I can drop it greatly. But. Oh my god, look at that. There's just like a steep. Up until 60%, the wealthy don't care, and then they just fucking skyrocket. 90% income tax. So look at that, we would gain 91 billion from this. That's just incredible. Equality would go up. Socialists would like it. No kidding. I don't think they are that cruel. Uh, we might want to think about some certain things, like state housing. Capitalists, how are we doing with the capitalist corporation tax, income tax? I think this might... Corporation tax is increasing in the air. If we lowered it, we would get better, but uh, I don't want to cut it. Corporations needs to be taxed, at least a bit. I'd much rather have tax shelters. Free eye tests. Graduate tax tests. Tax shelters. Hmm. Organic farming subsidy. I don't know, I think we pretty much nailed it at this point. We just need uh, to think about things. One, one thing that I just uh, realized is that we need to uh, increase the education. Are we paying enough for schools? We could increase this. Lowers unemployment, education, socialists, and who like it. 
Private schools are lower in equality. How much more? Oh, that's 3 billion. It's actually an incredible investment. Isn't there anything we might... Technology... University grants. Oh god, this is way better. Okay, so if we go up by this from 1.7 billion... 1.07 billion to 4.1 billion. Everyone is gonna be happier. Education is gonna buy an incredible leap. Youth will be much happier. Income of the youth will increase and skill shortage will be gone. Why the hell haven't I done that already? Damn. Foreign language. Civil service. Wage parity. I'm uh, not interested in that at this point. Anything else? Private schools. Where is education? Anything else? Gender inequality. Foreign aid. Technology. Well, we pretty much nailed it, really. How's the... Damn. My cabin really likes me. And they're getting way more experienced with what they're doing. That's awesome. Way to go, guys. Uh, so that should help with everything. Technology. Science funding is awful. Okay, that would be great, but we don't have the money. So I really can't do that at this point, though. Technology colleges are kicking in. I'm gonna overcome this eventually. I'll leave this for now. Uh, we'll invest in that when we get things done. Productivity, unemployment, technology, education, health, adult education subsidies, alcohol consumption is going down. Okay. What else? Wages. Health. Health is increasing, that's good. Working week, malaria. Yeah, we need to find malaria. It's pretty much the only thing that I can do. What about infrastructure? Tall roads, technology, road building, foreign investment, foreign aid received. Education. State health service. Private health care. Hmm. What's the maximum we can get? 48? And we're gonna get 30. So let's pass a turn and see what's gonna happen. All price spike. A sharp increase in global demand for oil has caused its price to spike. The pump price of fuel has skyrocketed, resulting in a backlash from car owners and businesses alike. The cost of a fuel subsidy to alleviate the situation will cost 600 million. Do nothing. It is a free market and using subsidies to interfere with domestic commodity prices is a short-term solution. Those reliant on oil may develop a dependency for subsidized fuel, creating a long-term liability for the government. For subsidized fuel, maintaining the integrity of the free market is not worth the acute damage that will be done to the economy by high fuel prices. All markets are cyclical and careful management of future fuel duties can be used to pay for a temporary subsidy now. We're gonna subsidize and help. Subsidize and help. Education is on the rise, health is on the rise, unemployment and crime eliminated and poverty is very low. GDP no really bad. Yeah the global economy is just fucked look at that. But we're still in a surplus, that's good. The depth went down, then it went from up really high, and then it's going down. What's our credit ring? AA. Okay, we might get a triple A soon. We'll see. So the youth now likes us, state employees likes us, and patriots are liking us more and more. Okay, I want to invade, it's gonna go away. Uh, I'm interested, so they will like us then. What about ethnic minorities? Okay, they're they're okay. Citizens, citizenship, citizenship, 
citizenship test. Wow. Does not piss them off that much. That's good. Skills shortage. Goodbye. Technology backwater might go away. If we can get rid of this and the economy gets a bump, uh, we might see a huge increase in income, which I then might just invest single handedly into technology. We could. We would get rid of the malaria then. What about asthma? Yeah, asthma is gonna go, go away too. So we now have 48 capital. We still can't enact the national service. That's really fun. Child benefits. They would be good, but. Is there anything. Financial services regulation. This would piss off capitalists greatly. Religious rest a day. Heroin tax. Well, we have mention tax. I don't like this one. I really like this one because it brings you a lot of income, but it pisses off a lot of you. Oh, a flat rate income tax is a tax where every citizen pay the same marginal rate of income tax regardless of their total income. As a result, the cleaner in the office pays the same rate as the CEO, though the CEO's total tax bill will be higher. The simpler structure can lead to lower avoidance and evasion. It is not progressive and can exer exer well, exacerbate income inequality. I have a feeling that we're gonna invest uh, into this. We would, it would cost us 43, but I am, I'm greatly, greatly in uh, vote for the income tax. Canceling this one would cost us 13. So what we need to do is get the flat income rate at the same rate as we are now. We're getting 34.2 billion and cancel out the other tax rate next turn. I want to test this one. I actually never had it. So 34.2 billion. Middle income. Equality capital socialists poor. It was it 34.2? Yeah, and we'll check how much this affects everyone. Raising it is free, lowering is it free? Okay, so middle income 27% and poor 29. What about the normal one? Middle income 37, but poor only free. Okay, that's interesting. We'll see an incredible bump now uh, once we end the turn, but we have to do that. Asthma is gone, skills shortage is gone, and mineral wealth is gone. We have a 38.2 billion surplus, and still 99% of people would vote for us. Education, oh my god, look at what the skills shortage did. Airplane crashes during storm. So we pretty much paid most of our debt, but now what I need to do is cancel out this income tax. Okay, so income tax is gone. Uh, middle income, yeah, they're, they're pissed, but I'm in favor of the flat tax rate. I know this is a bit iffy for some, but I like it. You know, I, I feel that it's the only fair system as far as taxation goes. Yes, there can be additional taxes. I'm not saying there can't be, but, you know, I like this one. I don't like this one. So, by the way, we, had a, we have a surplus now of 3.05 billion. Okay, that's recalculated as I see. Oh my god, look at that. And the relative GDP went uh, up really high. I'm gonna introduce something small now. 
Let's get um, junk food tax is a bit problematic, but let's get it. Yeah, youth and poor hates it, but it increases health. It's important for me. So now it's end the turn, and oh my god, budget has 15.2 billion surplus. Credit rating upgraded to triple A. And 100% of people would vote for me. Yeah, no one is really pissed. That's awesome. So now technology, science funding. We have 15 billion. So let's roll. I'm gonna greatly increase the spending. That might fix some of our problems. Employment and other things. This might bump up the GDP again, uh, but I still feel like we might want to invest a bit more into certain things. Uh, let's have a space program. <laughs> no, we're gonna get this one, but uh, not for now. Government Code of Conduct. I like this one. Lowers corruption. Liberals like it. It doesn't cost much. And democracy increases. What about lingual aid? I like this a lot too. Liberals, poor, socialist, equality, and poor earnings. And anything else that... We don't have pensions. And we don't have you know, child benefits, but for now that's... I don't like that, but we can't do it at this point. Health tax credits, school tax credits. You know what, we want to get... Clean fuel subsidy. Environment, environmentalist, motorists and income. Okay. That seems like a good choice. Achievement unlocked. One party state. Congratulations, you have all but banished the thought of any other political parties from the minds of the electorate, reducing other politicians to mere has-beens. In a green utopia, you truly have made this country a green and pleasant land, free from the horrors of pollution, wow, waste and damage to the climate. We and the planet thank you. So GDP is going up, 100% of people vote for us, budget surplus is 7.84 billion, education is going up, global economy is in a recession, but we are doing fine. Residential credit facilities, citizens are able to consume with the use of credit cards, a stable and lawful lending environment has led to banks freely offering microloans. The blanket issuance of residential credit will drive spending in the economy. However, some citizens will find their debt become becomes unmanageable, driving them into poverty. Oh, I get it. And foreign liberation movement. Rebel forces from a neighboring country are seeking sanctuary. We have traditionally been sympathetic to their cause, and it would benefit them greatly to base their operations out of our territory. They are fighting to displace an oppressive authoritarian regime in their own nation. Agree. By harboring this revolutionary organization, relations with, will sour with our international neighbor. However, it is a price worth paying for the chance of electing regime change, of effecting regime change in an undemocratic country. Or deny. The winds of change will blow regardless of whether sympathetic nation direct aid these revolutionary freedom fighters. Why jeopardize trade and st No, we're gonna angry. I really believe in interventionism. Okay, our debt is effectively gone. Nice. It's awesome. What about the technology backwater? It's gonna go down soon. 16. <laughs> yeah, the implementation will take time, but you know, it's, it's gonna go down. It's going to go down. Technology is going up. 
Uh, this is just gonna... What about malaria? Yeah, it's... It's gonna go down soon. Not low enough though. I think the trigger will never be passed. What about the infrastructure? We have a huge surplus. We might want to use it to do some good. Now, yes, child benefits would be good. Uh, pensions would be more good. But let's see what we're expending our money on. State health service. Poor. Socialist. Health. Underway. State employees. State employees. Equality. Private health care and malaria is gonna go away. Why do capitalists hate it though? What they like me now is the GDP. Yes, is the GDP. Plus the credit facilities and the stock exchange. Good. Good, you are welcome. What else are we spending on state schools? Poverty, unemployment, private schools, equality. Might be good, but what else? Military science funding is at max. University grants are at max. Technology grants are at max. Road building. Enterprise investment scheme is at max. Green energy subsidies, food stamps. Uh, this might be good to increase. Poor will benefit from this. Now, what about the poor earnings? They are going up, so it's not really that important. We can go in recycling. Armed police. Crime, liberals, and violent crime. I actually don't at all sympathize with. Well, no, I. Well, like, armed police pistols are okay, but having machine guns? Hmm. Free school meals. We have that. Community policing. What if I actually increase this? Cancel the armed police. Hmm. Wouldn't be a thing. Documenting initiative, jury trial, public libraries. Public libraries! Oh my god, yeah! We want this! Okay, so education, equality, and elder up. There's no thing like a library. Pollution controls. Child labor. Okay, this. How the fuck is common child labor increasing GDP? I am seriously appalled by even having this in the game, but... Is it really here? Child labor, yeah. It's actually quite a lot of effect. Productivity. Technology, unemployment. Alternative, if no, we, we are gonna ban the child labor. I don't even care if it stops the economy. Poor will be pissed off, rural will be pissed off. But education will go up. So, child labor is now banned. And we are done for the turn. So let's see what else we can see. Minister scandal. It might not be anything to do with your policies or your personal conduct, but the actions of your staff are going to reflect on you. One of your junior ministers has been found to have an improper relationship with their secretary. Our more conservative citizens are bound to disapprove, and this could make for a noticeable drop in your popularity. Budget Surplus is 8.63 billion, and 100% of people vote for us. Education is going up. Good. I'm happy. 
So technology backwater is going down fast. It's gonna be gone by the end of our next term. Malaria is going down. Look, just look at this. This is such a huge effect. How are religious doing? I don't like to look into that. Religious here, they hate me. Abortion law on demand. Life threatened. Uh, actually, I would like to, to bump this up, but look, <laughs> this is awful. How many religious are there anyway? Membership is just technology grants will lower it. Human development. We just make them super paced. Minister scandal. Well, where is it? How, how pissed would they be? 32.65%. I still don't know how much that is. 15, 5, and 5 minority sexualities. We might. Um, we might implement something like a religious holiday. Where was it? I think it was under Econ Religious Rest Day. Most organized religions recognize one day of the week as a day of rest. And many religious people believe that there should be no... Oh no, that's, that's not like a holiday. That's basically making Saturday or Sunday uh, economy, not working day. Which is not at all what I wanted. We need something to make them happier. But I don't know what. Because we eventually need to lower it. I'm wondering how, how we could do it. So that they are not as pissed. We'll see. We'll handle it. You guys wanted me to do it for so long, so I'm just gonna be brave and do it.